Right, let's have a look at the next nomination video. Hello, my name is Catherine and my sister and I have nominated my sister Maria for Surprise Makeover. And um, the reason why we have nominated her is because we think that she really deserves it. She doesn't spend time on doing her makeup or shopping for makeup and she's always busy doing things for other people and she doesn't really have time to do things herself. So I think this would be a lovely surprise for her. Thank you. Oh, oh bless her, that's so nice. Right, I think it's my turn. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Oh, she's so glamorous. I'm sure her sister will be as well. Absolutely. Okay, let's go right, for let's go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I think they're ready. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Hello, lovely to meet you. And <laughs> you. <laughs> so, you've been putting to have a surprise makeover today. Oh, I'm so oh. terrible with surprises, but I'm nervous now. I wasn't oh. nervous before. Oh, I don't know why I'm shaking. Oh. <laughs> what are we going to do with you today then, gorgeous lady? I'll do anything you want, really. I don't really put much makeup on, so you can just. Have you got lovely do brows? She's got lovely brows. Oh, really? really? I just HD. do it myself. Do you? Yeah. Do a fantastic well, job. Just a rubber pencil. You're like, no, don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really touch makeup or experiment, so. Okay, great. You can do what, what you like. What a good introduction. Better. Sam's going to do it for Yeah, you. I am. So you want to clear off? Yeah, do you want to mm. come with me? Yes. And we'll, we'll get out of the way. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is a warm brown smoky eye. Uh, Nick, can I have Vitalumia in 30? Of please? course you can. Thank you. There you go. Now Maria's got really beautiful skin already, so Sam's chosen something nice and light that's not got too much coverage, so it keeps the skin looking radiant and glowing. I'm also going to keep this really simple. I want to go for something a bit dramatic. Um, because Maria doesn't really wear much and I want to do something a little bit different for her but I also want to keep it really really simple so it's something that she can do again should she want to. And you've got two kids haven't you Maria? Uh -huh. What age are they? The eldest is 11, the youngest is 2. Wow you look Amazing. too young to have an 11 year old. <laughs> okay Nick I need something for the brows, can I just have um, a coloured brow gel please? You certainly can. That will do me. Nicely, I think. Gorgeous brows. Okay, I would like a cream eyeshadow, please. Something warm, browny colour, please. What you got? Tom Ford, 03. That'll do. Pleasant. Pleasant. That will do. You can close your eyes for me, Maria. And I'll need a clean 217 to blend, please, Nick. Sure. So this is the colour that Sam's chosen to use. It's a cream eyeshadow, and it's really nice and rich, and the colour is kind of a bronzy with a slight red undertone, which is working brilliantly with Maria's skin tone. They are so beautiful, aren't they? Amazing. You pay a little you see bit why more. they're so expensive, yeah. don't you? I'm using a little bit of MAC Studio Finish Concealer. So the great thing about what Sam is doing is where the eyeshadow's fallen down a tiny bit, she's just taking the concealer and getting a nice sharp edge from it, so it cleans up the makeup. So if you find that one eye isn't quite the same as the other, it's a really great little technique that you can do to clean it up and make them look perfect. Thank you. I am just warming up and blending a bit of Teddy Cole pencil from MAC onto my hand and then I'm going to give that back to you. Lovely. I'm going to apply it using a 266 angled brush. Look down for me. It's exciting because I can't see that eye. Yeah, look up for me. Um, right, what have you got for me gold wise? I have a Chanel cream eyeshadow. That could work. Which is really pretty. Let's give that a little go. Look up. Yep, perfect. 
I have got a little bit of Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara. And I'm going to put that onto the lash. There you go. Be Thank you very much. Don't get it on your fingers. A great little tip that you just will have seen Sam do is if you get a little bit of mascara through the lash line, so a little bit that transfers, get a brush and quickly buff it in and normally you won't even see it. Just if you leave it to set and dry, that's when it makes it hard to remove. So now I want you to look at my it. finger about there. Just keep your eye there for me. A little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes. I'm going to give this a big old blend now. I'm using a little bit of the Chanel Cream Bronzer just to add shape to the face. And because we've got these lovely bronzy colours on the eyes, I'm not sure that I'm necessarily going to put anything else on the cheek apart from perhaps a little highlighter just on the top of the cheekbone. As a highlight, I'm going to use a little bit of Porcelain Pink from MAC just on the tops of the cheekbones. Okay. Right, that's it. Look down for me. Just get that right in there. Sam has chosen to use Amazing Shine Lashes in 747 and the length is medium. Sam's just using a little bit of MAC Black Tracks Fluid Line with a MAC 266 brush and this is basically just to hide the seam of the lashes and to make them look a little bit more natural so you can't see they're there. The reason I prefer to apply powder with a small brush is because I put the powder on right at the end of the makeup. So a big brush is going to be much more difficult to navigate around the areas of the face without messing up what I've already done. So I like to just use a small brush where we want to powder. Because of course I won't want to powder everywhere, because I never do. I prefer a little bit of dew on the skin. Okay, something for the lips, please, Nicola. Right, I have got Laura Mercier Nude Ooh, this Lipstick. This is nice. Thank you. And a lip brush to start off with. That there. is gorgeous. Yeah, not too much payoff, which is nice. Do you want a gloss for the top? No. I didn't think you would. I thought I would, but you know, definitely not now. So we've gone a little bit stronger on Maria's eyes, so we are keeping, obviously, the brows and the lips quite nude. And simple. So who would you say this is like a JLo esque kind I of? I guess it would makeup. be, yeah. And now I'm finished, I kind of go back and I look at what I want to elaborate on. So I felt like I wanted a little bit more shape on the cheeks and I picked up this from Illamasqua, it's a Rumor blusher, which is a great contour colour. So we're just going underneath the cheekbone with that colour. So Sam's just finished the makeup, she's just stepped away and realised that she needs a little bit more under the eyes. So she's gone back in with a little bit more of the Tom Ford colour that she used first. And it is called Illicit. Okay, we're done. Let's get Matt in for the hair. Let's do it. Right, you're going to stay here and the hairdresser's going to come in. Thank okay. And then we're going to come you. back and see the end result. Very exciting. Oh, look at you. Wonderful job. I love that. Gorgeous. Makeup stayed lovely too. Do you have any idea what's been done? No, I cannot tell. <laughs> Absolutely cannot tell. Are you ready to have a look? Yes. No, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to spin you round, okay? Oh my. That is so different, but it looks lovely. <gasps> what? I'm sure. What do you like? Most first. The eyes. Yeah, so beautiful, aren't they? Oh my gosh. I've never done anything like that to my eyes. And the eyebrows, everything looks lovely. You can get a closer look if you want. You feel like you're quite far back. It doesn't you? look like me. In a good way? No, in a very, <laughs> absolutely, yeah. Oh I think you look lovely. <laughs> you get your sister in? It's yeah. a bit of a J-Lo kind yeah, of feel, it is. isn't it? Yeah, cool. Right, we're going to spin you around and bring your sister in. Come through here. <laughs> What do you think? Oh my God! We're between us two. Maria, you look so lovely. Oh. oh my 
God, Maria. Looks different, doesn't it? Oh, bless you too. Such a lovely. Oh, I'm welling up as well now. I know. She's lovely. Oh, such trembling. Bless you. It's lovely, doesn't it? You can recreate that now. You can copy the videos and do it for all the time. I will. Oh, really, look lovely. You're going to have to take me out tonight now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> so if you want to nominate someone to be made over, to look really glamorous, all you have to do is email contact at dailymix.tv. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. OK, on the lip, I'm going to use a little bit of MAC Amorous, but I'm not going to use it very heavy. I want to use it very light. Because I like the plummy tone of it. Your lips are quite full anyway, so I'm just going to... So no lip pencil? No lip pencil. This is just going to add a little bit of colour 